folks, this is Teresa Jackson. I'm here with a quick and fun Illustrator tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how I converted my Dia de los Muertos portrait into a colorful pop art style print using Illustrator's Image Trace and Recolor Art. This process converts the tonality of an image to colors that you predetermine by creating a swatch color group in Illustrator. You can see that I've created this swatch group here already. These are the colors that we'll use to recolor the photo. The color group can contain any colors that you like, but there are two important considerations to keep in mind. First, the order of the colors matter. The first color in the group will become the darkest tone of the image, and the last color will become the lightest tone, and then everything in between falls in that order. Second, the number of colors also matters. You could do this technique with less colors for a more simplified look, but most important is that you know and remember how many colors are in the group. My color group has 12 colors. This becomes important when we image trace the photo to convert it to vector. Since we're going to recolor this based on the dark to light tones, we need to work from a grayscale image. You could use Illustrator to convert a placed color image into grayscale, but I use Photoshop for this one so that I could do some editing as well. I simplified the image by painting most of the background out to black, and I also added contrast in the eyes and mouth so that those features would stand out in the final colorized print. So that's it for the setup. Now let's see how easy this technique is to do. I'll start by placing the black and white photo. Go to File, Place, choose the black and white version, and place it in the document. And then under Image Trace here in the Properties panel, I'm going to choose the preset 16 colors. And the speed of this processing will depend on the size of the image and how fast your computer is. Now remember, there's 12 colors in my color group, not 16. So I want to modify these settings by clicking on the Image Trace Options panel right here. We can change it from 16 colors to 12 colors. I'll type in 12 here and hit the Enter key. After that's done processing, I can close out of the Image Trace panel. But this isn't vector yet. We have to expand it. So I'll click on the Expand button. Now it's ready for Recolor. Make sure that the art is selected. Click on the Recolor button in the Properties panel, which brings up the Recolor Artwork dialog box here. Click on the Color Reduction Options. There's a couple settings we need to make sure are set up correctly here. First, under Colors, we want to make sure to use all the colors. And then down here where it says Sort, we want to sort this from lightness, dark to light. That will sort these colors in order. Next, we don't want to preserve any colors at all. This is all made up with grays, so we wouldn't want to protect or preserve grays. So make sure that all three of these are unchecked and then click OK. So that ordered these from dark to light. If we go down through this list, we see that the tones are in order from dark to light. And then we simply click on the color group that we pre-created. And there we go. Doesn't that look fantastic? Here's one more tip for you. If you created your color group with global color swatches as I did here, it's really easy to fine tune this after you've recolored it. So for example, if I wanted this color here to be a little bit more saturated, I could double click on it and take the saturation up and say OK, and it will automatically update those colors in the art. So that's it for this fun and easy technique. Use it to convert any photo to a pop art stylized print using Illustrator's Image Trace and Recolor Art.